French vanilla iced coffee from McDonald's when they do it creamy. Mmm. The best. Hey guys, it's V. So I got our new product recently and I really wanted to test it out for you guys and see how I liked it, what my opinions are on it because I own a different version of it and I wasn't as impressed as I could have been. So I really wanted to try it out and see how I liked it and so that is the Smashbox Mini Double Exposure and I have the Smashbox mini full exposure and honestly a lot of the shades in this one weren't very pigmented like this silver shade was not very pigmented at all and this glittery shade just shows up straight glitter the matte shades are really good and this creamy highlighty shade that's really pretty i'll show you guys that one that one is super pretty but there were two shades in here that just were a total miss for me so I really wanted to try the Smashbox Mini Double Exposure Palette and see if maybe I liked this one a little bit better. It had some more interesting shades in it, not just neutrals. So I really wanted to try it out and see what I thought. So I got this from Ulta. It was $24 and um, they didn't really have them in stores. So I was placing an order online. So I got it off of the website and I was really pissed because they sent me a 20% off code right after I ordered, which peeves the shit out of me but i'm not even gonna go there um so yeah i actually used this today to create this eye look so stay tuned till it's a little bit later in the video and i will show you guys how i did that if you're interested in that but yeah so after swatching these they actually swatched really really nicely i mean all of the shades were really pigmented in them i especially really liked the shimmery brown towards the bottom um i just i honestly this one swatched swatch it this one swatched way better than the mini full exposure so i was really excited about that about it and um supposedly with the large double exposure this one you can use the shadows wet or dry honestly i like never use eyeshadows wet so i wasn't even going to test it out that way because i don't have any fix plus or any of that shiz so i just swatched them dry no primer and they performed really really well and i actually think that they performed pretty well on my eyes with primer also so yeah for the price of this palette you get eight shades which i think is a really good value for only 24 dollars and it's kind of a mini version of the I mean, it kind of, it, it is a mini version of the double exposure, which is over $50. I want to say it's either like $49 or like $52. I don't remember exactly. But this one comes with a lot of the fun shades that are in that palette, such as the really dark blue and yeah the, there's like a purpley and then there's like a shimmery pink so it comes with some of those non-neutral shades which i think is really nice and the only complaint i really have about this is that they only put one matte they only put this one matte brown and i really wish that they had put a matte highlight in there but they do have a matte highlight in the mini full exposure so i guess like it's kind of a hit or a miss like if you really don't care for matte colors very much this is going to be great for you because it's a lot of fun colors and it's totally different from the mini full exposure palette and it's a good price and i definitely think you can make a lot of different looks with this palette i mean honestly like this shimmery silver color and this blue like if you have the naked one palette it has two shades that are similar to this and it can make a really really cool gunmetal smoky eye so um, I think that's a good option. You could also do like a purpley with a pink smoky eye and the matte color that they did include, which is that matte brown, is a really, really good crease color to kind of like make stuff smoky. Do I really think that you're going to get a neutral eye with these colors? Uh, I mean, if you only use the ones that like I use today, I primarily used this little quad here. I didn't really touch the more fun colors today. Um, I think that you can get a really pretty neutral eye. I do think that this one is a really fun little palette that is awesome for traveling. Also on the back of the packaging here, it has a little sticker that says scan or go to smashbox.com for how to's, get the looks and more for your eye shape. And they have a little QR, I believe that is scanner in there. So that's really cool. You can get some sort of tutorials on that. Um, the only shade that I don't really think that I will get 
any use out of in this palette is this super deep blue color. I just really don't use dark blues on my eyes very often at all. So that's the only shade that I really didn't think I would use because I mean purples look really pretty with green and brown eyes. And I really, really like this color here, the like super um, shimmery, it's kind of like metallic-y maroon brown it's really really pretty so i really like this palette and the pigmentation on it is amazing and i am sh sure if you're going to use this wet then the pigmentation is going to be even more amazing than this but really this pigmentation is not bad at all for something that's only 24 dollars from smashbox so i really think that they did good with this palette i think that it's a definite improvement from the mini full exposure palette which i believe was the same price um yeah, totally think that that's, totally think that it's an improvement from that. Although this one does have a row of matte and a row of shimmer, which I really like. But two of the shimmer shades were pretty much useless anyway. So the only complaint I have is that I wish that there was one more matte color in this palette. But other than that, I really liked it. So if you guys want to see how I got this eye look here, then we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Well, hello there, YouTube. Looks like we are gonna go ahead and get started here. So, first of all, I am going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original and put some of that all over my eye so that we will have staying power all day long. Then I'm just gonna take a little eensy bit more of that primer potion just on the very tip of my finger and I'm going to put that underneath my eyeball just because we're putting eyeshadow there. So we're gonna need some eyeshadow primer. It makes total sense, does it not? Then I am going to take a crease brush. This one is from Crown Brush. It's their C200 Deluxe Crease. And I'm going to take this shade right here and tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna put that all over my crease. So it's all in the crease there. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of it and put it underneath my eye. This brush is probably too big for that, but I used it on the other eye, so why not use it again? Just gonna darken that up just a tad. Then I am going to take this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, which is extremely dirty, but we're just gonna use it. And I'm gonna use this pinky shimmery shade right here in the inner eyelid area. And also on the lower lid. This is the lid on the lower eye. Perf. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush, which is from Target, it is in their concealer set. And I'm gonna take this color right here and put that on the second half of my eye. Make sure that's nice and pigmented there. Then I'm gonna take the Real Techniques brush again and go back into the lighter shade and just kind of blend that. Then I'm just going to take this double-sided Crease Love and Happiness brush from The Balm and I'm gonna use this side here in the very lightest shade in this palette and Put that, where am I? Put that under my brow bone. And also put that same color in the inner corner just to lighten it up. Yep, yep, looking pretty similar here. So then I'm just going to 
Where is it? Then I'm just going to take my Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in the True Burr shade. She came out with a brown and I really want to try it, but I already have a brown one, so can't do that right now. And I'm just going to do my cat eye. That one turned out a little bit thicker than the other side, but the great thing about makeup, you can just make the other side thicker. Like I'm gonna do right now. Boom, now they match. And I'm just gonna make sure that I really get into the lash line and without messing it up. <laughs> I like this side is smoked out a little bit more on the bottom, so I'm gonna add some more brown onto the bottom lash line. So I'm just gonna go back in with this crease brush and the dark brown shade again and you guys can't see. Put a little bit more, still covered. Put a little bit more in that bottom area. Dang it, I keep covering it up. Makeup tutorials are hard, okay? <laughs> then I am going to take the Kat Von D eyeliner pencil in the Immortal Love, which is a nice brown color, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. I'm not gonna show it though, cause it's gonna be out of frame. Or I guess I could try, but. Yeah, there we go. You guys can see that. Look real intense when you're putting that on. That's part of the tutorial. You need to look intense while you're putting on the eyeliner. Then I'm just going to take... Um... Then I'm just going to take the Black Pearl Lash Sensational Mascara and put that on and we are finito. Top and bottom lashes. Son of a bitch. Now I gotta clean that. And I always keep Q-tips handy because undoubtedly you'll do this shit like this and you'll have to fix it. So, you know, just to think the worst is gonna happen because with mascara, it usually does. And that is it. That is all I did for my eyes today. This is pretty simple, easy to do. So I hope that it was easy to follow for you guys. But here is the finished eye look. A little bit smokier than I usually go. I usually don't put anything on my bottom lash line, but this is the double exposure palette. So I really wanted to add a little something extra. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out to my review. So that is my full review of the Smashbox Mini Double Exposure Palette. And if you guys like this video, be sure to show some love to that like button down there. And if you subscribe, you can be one of my gypsies. We are almost to a thousand and I seriously, that blows my freaking mind. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Look guys. All I had to do was put a towel in it and now she stays in it all the time.